right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, oil change, Triumph Bonneville. Now, we have made multiple detailed videos on Triumph Bonneville servicing over the years, so I will link those videos in the description underneath this one for you if you need them, and we will make this particular video kind of like a fast guide. So a straightforward, quick and simple change of the oil, and we'll also do the brake fluid too while we're about it. So let's get to it. Right, okay, something I may not have mentioned in previous videos about this particular oil change, that is the sump plug on these engines faces forward, as you can see. And that means you need to put your drain tray quite a way forward. If you don't, then the oil will miss it completely and go all over your lift. And also, it's very important to take any bash guards or bash plates off you've got, even if you can get to the sump plug with it in place, doesn't matter. When you take that sump plug out, that oil is gonna go forward, up under your bash plate, and absolutely everywhere, giving you a lot of mess to clear up. So when you do this oil change, drain tray forward, bash plate off, and you'll have a lot less to clear up. And yes, I know you can reuse your sump plug washer. You can kneel it face it off on an oil stone and all that, but that one's done seven oil changes, so I thought for 95 pence, I'd treat myself to a new one. Right, there we are, oil change. Dump it, change the filter, refill it, measure it off. It's as simple as that, nothing complex. You can do it yourself at home for the cost of the oil and a 10 pound filter, as simple as that. Now the next things, the brake fluid front and rear, I haven't changed that since March 2017, so it's well overdue. Let's swap the brake fluid and then that's both fluids changed for the fresh new season.
Something else I may not have said in the previous videos about this is not overfilling these reservoirs on a fluid change. This bike is part way through its pad wear, so the fluids will be down a little in both reservoirs, and that's correct and as it should be. In the future, when I put new pads in, I'll push those pistons back a little bit to accommodate the new fat pads, and that fluid level will go back up to correct where it is on the full level. So at this point, I need to mark where they are and then fill them up to that level, so I maintain the correct level of fluid in each reservoir. On the rear, I couldn't really see anything to reference, so I put a dot on there with a sharpie. On the front one, there was a little reference line on the cut and I just used that. But whatever you do, don't fill them up any more than they were if you're doing a fluid change. And then you won't have problems in the future with it all overflowing when you push the pistons back. Right, so there we are, Triumph Bonneville, oil and filter change, brake fluid change. A periodic you can do yourself ever so easily at home and save a fortune in labour charges at your local dealership. Now, the other thing is, if you're going to do like me, I've got a total of at least five bikes, if not six, to do oil changes on. So I've got a big old job lot of oil from Amsoil, Texas. If you want to do the same in North America or Canada, you can join their preferred customer program. Once you're a member, then you can get up to 25% off the oil and free shipping. Now that means a lot because a quart of that oil, as I said, in this country, 19, nearly 20 pounds a quart. And I've got 36 quarts over there. So you imagine what that's going to cost. And if you can save 25% on it, it's going to mean a big saving and it's all what it's about after all. So there we are. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Links underneath in the description to all of the detailed videos about this kind of thing on the entire Triumph series. So thank you for watching. Take it easy, ride safe. And I'll see you next time for yet another service. Mm -hmm.